Hello, everyone. Drawing Kohaku and Amaryllis video that I re-edited and uploaded based on the request from fans last year. In the previous video, I uploaded a speed drawing, but this time I decided to incorporate my thoughts about Kohaku and Amaryllis. I hope it proves to be helpful information for fans and cosplayers of Dr. Stone. Drawing Amaryllis first. I really enjoyed this drawing. I like this composition. All of Amaryllis' ornaments are made of clams. These are pearls that have grown to a very large size. And these are ornaments made with attached shells. The gloss of the clam decoration resembles pearls on the inner surface layer. I've established that the residents of Treasure Island have developed techniques for making accessories using shells. As human civilization develops, I believe it develops its own unique and beautiful civilization based on the unique natural environment and resources of each cultural region. That's my perspective on human history and civilization. The people from Ishigami village and Treasure Island. They have created and developed their own unique culture. They possess their own skills. I designed it like this.
Personally, I really love Koaku. Koaku embodies everything I love. She's a character with strong mind and independence. She lives a life of sacrifice for others. I also want to sacrifice and live for what I love. Let me draw to emphasize her eyes. She is a strong character, and I draw her pose confidently. Long live Queen Koaku. While I'm drawing Senka's stone world, I had a lot of concerns about how to depict the detailed stages of technological development. Initially, according to the existing settings, Senku's knowledge of science and his tools. I tried to describe them at a level that people would be able to achieve with their abilities and resources. The story began when Senku woke up after the journey to cooperate with his friends Teju, Sukaja, and Yuzuria. And when Senku met Koaku, it expanded to the village level. Now, as the story progresses beyond the known world, it is set to portray a technology level equivalent to several centuries of human civilization. Based on the recent episodes of the Senku team returning to Japan, I believe it has reached a level of civilization comparable to the 1940s or 1950s. But the belt cannot have sharp edges in the outfit design. So I changed their costume design. Senku is creating personal items for his friends based on the level of civilization they have achieved. That's why the characters' costumes change gradually. So I drew Jen wearing a tie. It symbolizes the level of civilization in the stone world. I think Senku is a kind and warm person. He may appear as an evil boy on the outside, but on the other hand, he has a pure and good heart. These shoes were made by Suika for Koaku. Koaku's shield was initially made of wood in the Ishigami village style. After the Ishigami gained the ability to use iron, her shield now consists of a metal plate attached to the wooden shield. Koaku's shield is now made entirely of pure metal. The red line on the rope represents the symbol of the Ishigami villagers. Koaku is talking with Emerilis, so her eyes are focused on Emerilis. And drawing moss. I enjoy drawing moss.
Should I draw a waterfall in the background? Let's see. Okay, mm, drawing is done. Here are Amberlis and Kowaku. Thanks for watching. Happy manga drawing, everyone.